fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here, and if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Alright y'all, today, as you can tell by the title, we are getting into Sensational's latest release from their Wet Lace collection, Sensational Letitia. If you are new to Wet Lace, if you have never heard of Wet Lace in your life, maybe you're new to synthetic wigs, give you a quick little recap. Sensational came out with the Wet Lace series last year and it pretty much took you two by storm. The highlight of these units was the immaculate pre-plucked hairline. However, over time, we kind of realized other things that we may be liked or did not like about these units as more and more came out. I've reviewed quite a few of them. Let me see, I reviewed Sensational Audrey, Sensational Chrissy, Sensational Chiari in two colors, Sensational Danzy, Sensational Camille, Sensational What Lace Liana, and what other What Lace units? I feel like I've reviewed more. And I do have Sensational Wet Lace Morgan. That'll be coming up, you know, at some point this month. So yes, I've dibbled and dabbled with Sensational's Wet Lace collection and I have my thoughts. I will actually link some of those reviews in the description box down below if you wanna check them out. But today we're gonna to get into Letitia and I am very excited to review Letitia because she's a little bit different from the other Wet Lace units that I have grown accustomed to. Here she is! Off the bat, if you know me on this channel, you know that I love a texture. You see this texture through the screen. I just love super yucky hair. I hope we can have some fun with Letitia today. We'll see. Now, if you are interested in the unit that's on my head right now, this is one of the units from my $20 Tuesday series. This unit costs like $16. And I would say it's my favorite synthetic kinky curly wig, period. I highly suggest you check it out. I will link that in the description box as well. As you can see, it looks super natural. This is my everyday work wig. Like when I was going into the classroom, I'm a teacher by the way, I would wear this five days a week to no avail. And I've had this particular unit for five months now. So this is what every day, five days a week for five months looks like. I'm just letting y'all know. And it looks hella natural. A little dry, but it looks like my hair. <laughs> but yes, check that out after this video. All right, y'all, let's get into the specs of Letitia. So it is a 13 by four frontal, as you can see here. I'm not sure why Sensational gave us less parting space this time. What happened to a 13 by six Sensational, huh? What's good with that? I don't know. And she has two combs here over to the side, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. And this is what the hairline is looking like. When I saw that Letitia was out, when I saw um, Sensational's video on it, the hairline did not look as pre-plucked as what I was accustomed to, but we'll see when I put her on. But this looks beautiful. I'm ready to throw on. Also, I'm really happy Sensational actually made this lace brown. Look at that. Y'all see that? That is not ashy gray lace. It's actually tinted brown. I am very surprised. Y'all see that? Okay, Sensational, let's see what you're working with. So if you're ready to see me throw on Letitia, hook her up, slay her, keep on watching.
All right, YouTube fam, so I am back with Letitia. So let's just dive right into my thoughts, starting with the pros. The first pro to this unit absolutely is this texture. It is a very yakky texture. It mimics 4B, 4C kinky curly hair that's been blown out and curled, and I absolutely love it. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I love, I stand for very yucky textures like this. I was waiting for Sensational to do something like this where they put this texture on the Wet Lace Collection. And they finally did it. Kudos to Sensational for that. It feels very soft to touch. I mean, it's mimicking human hair blowout straight. You know what I mean? Like, I really, really appreciate that. So that is a huge pro for me. I swear synthetic wigs have come a long way when it comes to kinky hair textures. They've come a long way, especially when it comes to like the kinky blowout. Remember Janet Collection Jode? I know a lot of y'all saw that video that I did and I love the style, but the fibers, nah. They were not heat safe and they were rough. So I like when companies are able to get our texture right. Another pro to this unit is like the general parting space area. I do think it looks very natural and as you can see I did a curved part because I think a little curve makes it look even more natural. You see what I'm saying? I think that looks really good. I think I'm serving scalp out here. So texture is good, parting space area is good. Ooh, another pro to this unit is the lace tint. I'm so glad that they don't have this ashy gray lace on this unit. This lace is tinted brown, like a maybe a light medium brown. And I must say, if y'all don't have this Evan tint spray yet, y'all need to get it. It worked wonderfully on this lace and it's blending into my skin so well. Now, Sam Beauty actually sent me over a new shade that they have because I noticed that Evan came out with like three darker shades. And although I have this one, this one was still requiring work. It tinted my lace brown, but I just needed it darker. Like I'm a dark skinned woman. I need dark lace. <laughs> okay, and it's about to be summertime. I'm gonna get even darker. So you know how Suplex said the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. The the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Well, the darker the lace tint, the better the lace for me. I have it in the darkest brown, and this is the difference between the two. In case you are wondering, this is dark brown, and this is darkest brown. And Eben actually has like two other shades that are darker than this. So if you are a dark skinned woman and you want to try to find your tone, definitely check out Sam Beauty for that. So yes, this is a lifesaver. And I do think that the fact that this lace was already brown made it easier for this Ebon spray to do its job. Now I'm going to get into the cons. I would say the first con to this unit that I noticed off the bat is the hairline. It's probably not as noticeable now because I'm, you know, doing like a side part, but I definitely noticed that this hairline is much more dense than any other wet lace wig I have ever reviewed or seen on the YT. And I'm just, I don't know why they did that. Kinky hair can't have like a pre-plucked hairline? Sensational, please explain. <laughs> I'm not feeling that. However, with the way that I styled it, and also just so you know, I did use some hairspray here to add like a lift, and I think it looks pretty good like that. Yeah, I wanted just a little bit of lift right there. Because this is wet lace, I was expecting top-notch pre-plucked hairline, and they didn't deliver on that. Another con to this unit is the fact that they gave us less parting space. This is a 13 by four, whereas wet lace is normally 13 by six. I don't know why they're skipping on that. I don't know why. <laughs> I know I wanted to do a deeper side part than this and I couldn't because I was running into a track. So I wasn't feeling that. Now another con for me was the style. When I took this out the pack, I thought I was gonna adore the style of this wig. But when I put it on and started combing it out, it was just giving me very much like pageantry type of hair. It was, it was looking like pageant hair and I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't feeling all the voluminous, voluminous curls. I just wasn't, yeah, I don't know what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't hitting for me. I did try a half up, half down style and I looked at myself like, okay, this looks cute, but uh, let me just take it down. I wasn't feeling, I wasn't in love with it. So I was been playing with this hair for like a good 30 minutes, y'all. And that's why I pulled out my blow dryer brush and you know, I wanted to just calm down the curls a bit. So I finally got it to a place where I want it, where I was like, okay, now I can go back on camera. And I think it looks good like this. 
However, it did take some work. And as a beginner, especially if you're a beginner and you don't like the way the curls come out the pack, I wouldn't say this is the most beginner friendly. Also, another con for me is the price. This is retailing for like $56, 57 $60 on websites and I'm just like, yo, what lays? Y'all have cheaper units with 13 by six parting. I mean, what are we paying for? Are we paying for like the HD lace now? I don't know. I can think of a unit right now that probably mimics this texture that I want to do for $20 Tuesday. I'm not gonna let the cat out the bag now, but whenever it comes to my doorstep and whenever I review it, I will definitely refer back to this video. And hopefully, I'm hoping this can be like a dupe for Letitia because paying $60 for this wig, I just, texture is absolutely gorgeous, yes, but uh, I just wouldn't pay <laughs> that much money for her, especially knowing that I didn't like the way it was styled out the pack and I still had to do a lot of styling to her. I mean, it, she was still work, so yeah. Overall, y'all, I absolutely adore the texture on this unit. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's excellent. The HD lace, you know, it blended well. I'm glad that Sensational improved the color of the lace for women like me. <laughs> But I wouldn't say that she's someone you have to run out and go purchase. She's cute, she is giving a look. And at least with this Yaki texture, if you have purchased it or plan on purchasing her, know that it'll, it will last longer than other wet lace units because those fibers on a lot of those units are not the best in my opinion. But at least I know with these fibers, you know, you're gonna get some good wears out of them. Also, I didn't like the length of this unit. It was too long and it started tangling towards the end, so I just snipped it off. And, you know, I set the like maybe 22 inch mark, whereas it was like, like 26 inches stretched out. I was really surprised by that. Okay, y'all, so here's what I'm thinking, okay? Here's my idea. At the end of the day, Letitia is a gorgeous unit. Like, this is beautiful. However, I'm not feeling the price. So what I think is, I think Altre needs to put this texture on the Melted Hairline series, period. Because that price point is like within like the $40 range. If you put this on the Melted Hairline series, Altre, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So please let me know how you feel about Letitia in the comments down below. How do you feel about the way that I styled her? Are you purchasing her? Did you get her yet? Let me know how you feel. I mean, she is looking absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. But because it's sensational, what lace collection, I just had higher expectations. I was really disappointed that the lace was not pre-plucked like that alone really irked me. <laughs> I'm, I made it work, but I'm just like, come on now. This is the reason why you came out with this line was for the pre-plucked hair line. And then you don't deliver that on a kinky textured unit. Like you don't know how excited I was for that. So <sighs> I'm a little let down, but hey, another day, another sleigh. I think I still look damn good. <laughs> Let me know if you feel the same. And if you are new to my channel, tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up. I do have a giveaway going on right now, my 10K giveaway. It ends Friday, May 8th. So I encourage all of you to go to that video. I will link it in the description box down below and join the giveaway. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. I also have a playlist featuring textured wigs that I've reviewed and I have a slew of them. Check that out as well. It'll be in the description box down below. I I appreciate you guys so much for joining me today for this video. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.